All right, guys, I want to bring you a new series called Two Minute Tuesday, where every Tuesday I bring you a two minute tip that answers some of the more common questions I get on a regular basis. Normally, there'd be an intro that plays right now. We haven't created it yet. So let's just throw two minutes on the clock and start talking about grain direction. Grain direction can best be personified by a rope. Now, trees grow up and out just like a rope. There's little fibers that grow together that create wood and a tree. And the reason you get tear out is if you rub a rope this way, you're good, gentlemen. But if you go backwards, you start to get fibers that come apart and that's why you get tear out. Now, if we look at this board here, you can see these are the growth rings. So when you're cutting with any tool, whether it's a router bit, a hand plane, a planer blade, you need to pet, the, they call it petting the cat. So if a cat's fur, this was its head and its tail was down here, you would pet it this way. And that's the same thing with cutting. With a plane, you would cut this way and you're not gonna get tear out. With a router bit, uh, and by the way, anything with spiral, these great bits from Bits Bits, will cut better than anything that is straight. Uh, it goes for joiners, planers, router bits. So with a router bit, it's gonna spin this way, you would cut this way. If you went this way, you have more chance of getting tear out. Same with a planer. A planer is spinning this way, so you would feed your piece in like this. Now, you can read grain direction from multiple areas of the board. So if you were planing this board, you would go this way because our grain is coming this way. Now you can read grain direction from all sides of the board. Let's say you wanted to plane the face and you weren't doing the edge. You would look at the side grain. So you can see here that the grain goes off like this. You're going to want to pet the cat this way. So you're going to run your plane this way on your face of the board. And you can go around. There's lots of different examples. This is a much tighter grained maple and you can see these are very 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 straight so you're going to have lots of good luck planing these edges here because this is very very straight but if you look at this side of the board let's say you wanted to plane this face you would read that the grain direction is kind of wavy here so if you are getting lots of tear out, if you don't have a sharp plane or you're just getting tear out, you may have to alternate which directions you would go. You could start by coming this way and stopping at this hump, you know, kind of lifting your plane off and then coming from the other direction. Usually that doesn't happen, especially if you have a sharp plane blade, but this applies to lots of tools, planers, hand planes, router bits, chisels. If you were chiseling this board and you went this way on the face, you're gonna have a tendency for the fibers to lift up, lift up. So you really wanna plane this way and go off the board. Um, hopefully that clears some things up for you and I kept it under two minutes. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe in the shop and have a wonderful day.